Hi everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to rig a ball using a deformer. First, take a spare, then go to the deformers menu and click on lattice. Once you click on lattice, you can see a lattice box around the spare. Go to the attribute and change the T division to 2. Now, you can select the lattice points. I can select the lattice point and move, stretch the top part separately and the bottom part separately. But we can't connect this point, these vertex with the controller. So we need a independent controller. To create independent controller, you have to select all the, all the vertex and connect with the cluster. Same with the bottom part. Now you have an independent controller which is a cluster for the top part and also for the bottom part. Now we will, half of your work is already done so what we have to do is we have to make a controller for the top bottom and a master controller. So this is my master controller, I will write his name as a master CLT and then we need two more this will be my up CLT and I'll duplicate the same and make it down CLT CLT okay select all the three and delete the history on these controllers and also freeze transformations once this is done we want to connect these controller the up controller with this lattice uh, with the with the cluster so what you have to do is select both of them select first your parent means the controller and then the child which is your cluster and do with a point uh, point constraint because we just need a translation so we will connect with the point constraint so once is one once it is connected you can see all the values turn into blue color the value on so now you can move to any direction it will move same with the lower part you have to do and maybe you can change this value to zero so that it come back once this is done for the top and bottom we have to connect the master controller with the ball so select your master controller select your ball and do a constraint so we need parent which means translation and rotation and we need scale also so when we move the master controller it will move when we rotate the ball will rotate and also scale so we need a scale constraint also done so right now when i move only the ball is moving because this upper and lower connect controller is not connected with the master controller so what you have to do is parent not parent constraint parent it with the with the master controller so select the top controller and then the master controller and press P on your keyboard for the same at the bottom part select the lower part select the master controller and press P done it is still not working the problem is the deformer so what you have to go is do is go to the outliner select all your deformers except this one and drag it and drop it inside the mesh group now you can see we have a separate mesh group where you can see all these deformer and then we have this controller group now select this and it is working fine and you can scale it rotate it you can do anything and you can rotate it you can do anything like right, so
bring the value to normal to 111 and now the most important question is how I can limit the value for this so to limit the value you have to go to the uh, press control A on your keyboard and go to the this menu and we have limit overrides limit information so inside translation so for example I want to limit it till for example maybe 5 and minus is how much you want maybe I want to limit it to minus 0 0.27 0 0.97 so that's how you can limit it and for the same we want 5 and 0 0.97 And you can change the color of the you can color of the controller also so try and override And now you can now it is limited. You can see only till five it move maximum five till five it will move. It will not go up. So this is done. And now for for the other part, for example, we don't need these ones. So what you can do is right click on them and say lock and height. So only these translation attribute will be seen on the so same thing you can do to all of them to both upper and lower part lock and height and you can change the color control A again and then go to enable override change it to RGB and change to red color same with the top part I thought the master control so the ball is red using the deform method this is all I want to teach you today you can follow the same principle, same strategy, same technique with everything. You can rig a ball, you can rig a box, you can rig a character, uh, a letter, anything using the same technique. Thanks and have a nice day.